I'm here at the property and it is in a cul-de-sac. Some of the neighboring property there, one there, one there, and uh, it's kind of a dead end. So when you go out back toward the U-Haul, um, it's like a little road that goes out to the main road there. And I'll uh, try to see if I can capture that on video for you. Well, let's go see what this house offers. So it needs to be pressure washed. You got some roof issues there. You see what's draining there. Christmas lights still up. They're all on the main level. Yeah, I can't imagine that most of the bedrooms in this level as well here. Okay, so this is the master here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, actually, no, the master's master upstairs. All right, so this is like the office here. Yeah. Okay. But the we, hmm? it's supposed to be a bedroom. Oh, it's supposed to be a bedroom? Because of the closet. Okay, and so this is the connected full bathroom right here? Yeah. All right. And then oh, you... you want to see the bathroom? Mm-hmm. Sure. All right. So you got tile floor here. Mm -hmm. All right. Metal tub. Mm -hmm. Now you the second owner. Uh, second owner. Yeah. Second owner. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you got your fireplace here. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are what uh, ten foot, twelve foot ceilings. Here. All right. That's the eating area there. The breakfast bar, and then they have a um, the cabinets. Is the refrigerator included? Included. Okay. It's built in. It's built in. Yeah. All right, let me get the deck here. How big is the lot? Uh, 0.3 acre. 0.3 of an acre. Okay. All right. Did you no, see? No, no, wait, Joey, mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get the other side of the. All right, so it's the electric cooktop. Mm -hmm. And it comes with the refrigerator, dishwasher, and then the microwave double oven here yeah. okay and then let's see this is a pretty dining room floor in here i like this dad was this like this before or you guys put this in here uh the decoration have the wood mm -hmm. yeah the previous owner uh that in here okay. the owner did that okay so that goes back out to the front door mm -hmm. and then this here is the former formal living room here or you can call this the parlor or piano room because they have a piano too yeah we are using it as piano room but yeah they have they a piano can use too. It as like okay laundry, laundry tile yeah hotel oh, okay you have like a little kitchenette here i see yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. okay that's different yeah all right in the garage mm -hmm. uh, three car garage. okay so there's the other door over there mm -hmm. okay all right bathroom here on the we're in the basement mm -hmm. this here is like another office slash bedroom here mm -hmm. okay and it's all carpet through here correct mm -hmm. all right and then this here is a uh, game, yeah, game room here okay room. and this is uh, another uh, like a game room movie room something like that yeah, entertainment room. Okay. Do you have um, heating and air come? Yeah, I see the vents yeah, down yes. here too. All right, and then you have a second kitchen here. Okay, with the tile. Do you know approximately the square footage of the basement? Basement, uh, 15. About 1,500? Okay. Okay, and this, and this is like a mud room? The total is like five. Oh, okay, then you have another room back here. Okay. All right, so this is like a den. Oh, you see the screen porch. Uh, okay. There's a screen porch on which side? Screen porch. Down here. And I remember seeing this in the picture. So this is the backyard. So um, they would not have a place for a pool. Only a jacuzzi, maybe right there. Okay. And then that's the ceiling of it. It's nice. It kind of tilts a little bit away from the house. All right. Transition between the eating area and to the family room there. Okay. I think you may, you may can take this. Molding. Take it down, the molding down. Okay. 
All right. Oh, there's, yeah. It's mm -hmm. uh, upstairs. Uh huh. Actually, all three levels. All three have levels there. have yeah. it? Okay, so this is guest bedroom number one? Yeah. Okay, well, number two, because number one is on the main. And we got a closet here, tile floor. Did you put the flooring in? The, uh, the floor, no, the tile? that's already, oh, already, already here. All over the yeah. Okay. All right. All right, I'll follow you. Last bedroom here. Right iron here. Let me get the uh, nest to the front door. And then you can see the stairs from the door. Okay. All right. Here's the master here. Two windows on each side. A three. Okay. Oh, that's the bathroom. Here's a library here. Yeah, sitting room or you can call. Mm-hmm. All right, and then master bathroom here. So that's the water closet, regular closet, vanity, tub. Yeah. It's decent size. Yeah. It's okay. the uh, attic, huh? It's the attic. Yeah, we're over the garage right now because I can feel the temperature drop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see what's... Okay. Oh, it's huge. They'll like this. And then you have another area back here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is the attic over the garage, usually. Oh, no. So a lot of people put like Christmas trees and stuff in you know, luggage, right. stuff like that. It's like mm -hmm. storage. Mm hmm. All right, follow you. It's a good side. Uh, Let me close this because the temperature is too Oh. oh, okay, that's nice. It's big. You can put about maybe six people in there. <laughs> From the bathroom into the master. Oh, did you see this? The water closet? Oh, no, that's good. Oh, you have like a little bit of. Okay, that's nice. That's very useful. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Another bedroom here right off the master and then we're going to come in here to the bathroom and we got a nice this pretty tile floor here in the bathroom mm -hmm. and then we're going to come through to the next room so i just came through the jack and jill bathroom and we'll pan around here back that way and come back out to the hallway here okay Right, so just left the house and it's in a cul-de-sac here um, dotted with some new construction but mainly what's over here is um, I don't know if you can see that our older brick houses um, roads a little bumpy um, it's on the intersection near flowers and Lakeview so you got a newer house there there's some newer houses back over there um, next door on the left when you're facing the house there are like two or three brick houses, little small older brick houses. Um, I'm gonna show you what this road looks like road. here. Dude. When you come in to the neighborhood, to the house, it's a dead end road. Um, and there's a lot of tree roots, so you can feel this little camera bumping up and down here underneath the road. Um, but this goes back out to the main road here on La Vista. And then uh, if I turn left, 285 is down here. And then this goes back towards further into Tucker and towards uh, to the Gwinnett side. Shopping center. So there is a dental shop, a um, Nukes restaurant. You got Dick's Sporting Goods, Sprouts Grocery Store, DSW Shoes, and then Hobby Lobby. All right, so I left the property here now sitting in the shopping center over here and it, it's a nice house it's pretty big um it needs a lot of updating though not like massive where oh my gosh i can't live here without it being renovated type of renovation um but it, you're gonna want to put all new carpet upstairs because it's just all mitch match colors um it needs to be pressure washed um didn't really get a good look at the back because I had to take my shoes off so I didn't get to walk outside of the back but um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's The backyard's pretty small, though. You, like, you wouldn't be able to put a pool back there. Um, that creek thing in the back is in, like, in the middle of the yard. Um, you could probably put a jacuzzi back there close to the house. But um, it's a nice water feature. It was really pretty. Um, and I do like that it has a screened-in porch, which is nice, top and bottom. And the, no, 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 just the bottom. Bottom was screened in. Top is just the deck. Um, and... Um, you know, didn't have any funny smells. The floor plan's a little odd downstairs in the basement. It's a little choppy um, because you got it's all compartmentalized. I think there's a way that you could probably open it up more. She's got a kitchen down there. Had some weird kitchen that was thing that was in the laundry room that was on the main level that you guys will see in the video. Um, no super weird smells or anything. She was the only one that was there. Um, she said that she's had the thing on the market for nine months, um, which is a very long time, <laughs> um, very long time. It has a lot to do with, she has no sign at the front of the, in the front yard. There's no indication from the street that it's even for sale and she only really has it on Zillow. So, um, it doesn't seem like you'd have too much competition, um, on that property at all. Um, and I told her you guys will be in town in another week or so. So if you wanted to come and see it, that I'd call her back and make an appointment. And that's pretty much it. So um, it's a good location. It's here in Tucker. You know, everything you would need is over here. It's right close to the freeway, close to shopping, um, close to the school. So it's pretty not too bad. So that is my take on it.